it seems that Los Angeles is a big theme in this festival, and it is a very important character in, in my film. And Los Angeles is full of dreams, and if you look at it from the outside, it's really dreamy. It's also a place for actors and a place of perfection, a place where perfection has to be met in order to succeed. And for an aging actress, it's very hard, very sad, and very, I'm very mad about it, so I'm happy to show something instead of saying something about it. That's it. Thank you very much. I was at a party the other night, and I was talking to Jack Dunkirk's producer, and she told me Jack's doing a new film. We had a great conversation about you, and she called me today. Jack wants to meet you. Really? Okay, and did you read the script? Is it any good? Okay, well, um, it sounds like it's perfect for me then. <laughs> um, when does he want to meet? What was your first experience with cinema growing up? Watching films were always really important in our house, and we were really lucky. We, in the place we lived in Hollywood, there was like a very specific cable channel called the Z Channel, mm -hmm. which actually my sister made a documentary about, which is great. And it was really this programmer really cared about film and he would do these incredible programs, especially of films that might not have even gotten distribution. So mm -hmm. including Robert Altman and like a million great directors. So Kurosawa. And so mm -hmm. you really were just grew up. That was what was on TV. So what was it like working with the entire team? Everybody was so cool. You know, when you make a movie that's really not so much money and nobody's you're not really making it for the money you're making it for the art people seem to understand that everybody's on the same level and they're doing it because they love what they do and speaking on the topic of the arts what are your hottest finds so far this year whether it be cinema or music or film well i just saw night of cups by terence malick which i was completely blown away by it just was amazing and what was that like working for scratch massive in 2003 versus working for them now well let's refer to this Working for them in 2003, and then they work for me. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, we have a great collaboration. Obviously, we're very close, and I, I really respect their music and their vision of things. And I love that they, they pushed me to make music in my movie that is uncommon, but very emotional and very, like, a, and thematic. And, and it is a character, such a big character in the film. So... It's great to have a trust and having worked with some, you know, people for a long time because they know you, they know what you want, and, and then you don't really have to stay on top of everything. So, you know, it's always a process, but it's exciting to mm -hmm. have that kind of creation. Now, would you agree that providing a female perspective in contemporary film is incredibly important for progressive development in our media's culture? <laughs> 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 so, yes. <laughs> And how would you say that this film could help contribute to that progress? I think someone, I was reading something where it said, every time someone makes a film about an aging actress, you're giving an actress of that age a part. It just should be more equal. I think there can be everything, but I think the world is like, there's no middle class of film anymore. There's no romantic comedies. There's no thrillers. There's no, there's just like very independent movies and superhero movies and that's it. And so... We have to fight to get back to this sort of middle place where mm -hmm. there should be all kinds of movies, not just dictated by financing, you know? Mm -hmm. Après film, comment vous sentez-vous? Je me sens bien, tout va bien. Pas de souci. Non, non, c'était un très beau film. Euh, c'est une façon de voir Los Angeles euh, assez originale quand même c'est pas un sujet dont on parle souvent et, euh, et j'aimais beaucoup la comédienne surtout j'aime beaucoup les plans de Los Angeles je me disais que c'était une ville qui n'était pas facile à filmer en fait. c'est euh, la réflexion que je me suis faite euh, c'est une ville, ville très grande, très plate très, euh, voilà, et qu'il n'y a pas beaucoup de on sent qu'elle tente par exemple d'avoir des points hauts sur cette ville et que c'est pas évident et c'est ce qui fait aussi que c'est une ville où on, se, on peut se sentir très très seul 